And now we get to the last part of question number two. In the last part, we're asked to find the difference between in uh, the difference in the distance between the positions of the two particles. So we already know the position of particle P from part B. As you can see, we're told use the result from part B. So we approximated this distance and we saw we, we figured out that at time 2.8 the particle P, the position of particle P is 40.8. Now we want to find the position of particle Q. How do we do that? Well, first thing that we notice is that a very important piece of information is being given to us, which is x. So Q, the position of particle Q at time t is equal to 0, is equal to a Marinac root. What is it equal to? Negative 90. Perfect. So how do we find the position of particle Q at time 2.8, we just need to find the definite integral from 0 to 2.8 of these uh, Q of T dt. And this is equal to the position of particle Q at time 2.8 minus, minus the position of particle Q at time t equals zero. To find this information, we're going to use our graphing calculator. Everything is set up, and so we're just going to do it. And then from there, we're going to solve a simple algebraic equation. Uh, so let's do that. So everything is already set up. You can see this is the graph for the velocity of particle. Uh, this is the equation for the velocity of particle Q. We press graph. We found this area for part C. We don't want it. What do we want? We want a different area. So second, calculate the antiderivative symbol. The lower limit in this case is 0. The upper limit in this case is 2.8. Wow. Very sad, very sad. I do apologize. Uh, looks like the answer is 135.9. Still, I'm just going to change the window a little bit, fold the calculator. We're just going to go from 0 to 3. I'm unhappy that you didn't actually see my calculator. Just find the area underneath the curve, which represents the distance. So let's do this again. Second, calculate. Symbol for the antiderivative. Lower limit is 0. Upper limit is 2.8. Go ahead, calculator, find the area. It's taking its time. It's not a big deal. And here it goes. Just like last time, you should get exactly the same number. It is. It's 135.938. 135.938. So let's write. This is 135.938. represents the area underneath the curve is equal to the position of particle Q at time 2.8 minus negative 90, which is the same as plus 90. We will subtract 90 from both sides, minus 90, 
and we will get the position of particle Q at time 2.8. So this is 45.93. 45.93. What is the question asking us to do? It says, using the result from part B, approximate the distance between the two particles. So the position of Q is 45.938. The position of P is 40.75. So the distance between them is going to be 45.938 minus 40.75. Waste your time doing this by hand. It is a calculator question, but since my calculator is not in my hand, please go. 8 minus 0 is 8. 3 minus 5 is 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. And then we have a 5. So it looks like at that time, the difference in their positions is 5.188. And that's it for all the calculator questions.